my friends, I'm going to show you right now how to read a book. And you probably think, I already know how to read a book. But I'm going to show you something different than you've ever done before. And first I'm going to tell you a story about Henry Ford who said that he, he why should he memorize a bunch of useless facts when all he had to do was press a button and he could have those facts at his fingertips? That's the story. We have the same thing, right? The internet. And it's a different way of thinking rather than what we were taught in school. So I'm going to show you right now. So I've got this book right here. It's called The Power of Starting Something Stupid by Richie Norton. And this is one of the, it's, I think this is the best business book I've read in the last, gosh, five years, ten years. Um, it's worth picking up. But I'm going to show you how to read it in a different way. First thing you want to do, you want to make sure that the author that you're reading actually knows what they're talking about. Sometimes you can pick that up. Um, just from the way that they're talking, you're, you can tell whether they're sincere or not. Everyone's got that power. But here's what you do, right? Okay, here's the power of starting something stupid. How to crush fear, make dreams happen, live without regret. How to crush fear, make your dreams happen, and live without regret. That is important to learn. I'm accepting that as important to learn, and I accept that if I get into this book right here, that I'm going to get that result because I trust the author. What I want to do is just put some of that that I don't have, some new insights. I just want some gems, right? That's why we dig through the dirt. And I'm not calling, not calling this dirt. I'm saying all the crap, the media the marketing, everything, inundating you, your thoughts, your regular thoughts. I got, I got thoughts that come, they're just like, they're not dirty. They're just dirt. They're just, they're not, they're not valuable thoughts that are, they're just not worth much. You want to get the most valuable thoughts over and over. You want to increase the value and that's how you increase the value of your life, right? So simple. So you take a book like this knowing uh, that you are going to crush fear. Sounds good. Make your dreams happen and live without regret. Okay? That's what we're doing. So, are you already crushing fear? Are you already making your dreams happen? Are you already living without regret? And can you do that better? That's why you're getting into the book. Now, here's what most people do, right? They start on page one and they start reading the whole story. Well, that's awesome. And the author has a lot to say. But in some ways, it's not awesome. And I'll tell you two reasons why. One, uh, the time that it takes to read a book all the way through is typically time that you should be taking action on something. It's tough to read a book all the way through. You, know, you obviously want to take time to be reading, sharpening the saw and getting those thoughts in there. But I can read in... 15 minutes what I would sit down in two hours and read and and get the gem and leave the book and get the same result in 15 minutes rather than two hours. So here's how it goes. So now we know what we're doing. We are crushing fear, making our dreams come true, and living without regrets. Make dreams happen. Right? So I this is a resource. And you can take this if you're learning a new profession. You can get eight or ten books that people say, this is the book you got to read. Get those. And you just jam through them. And it's not speed reading. You're not you know, necessarily reading every page. You can just straight go for the highlights, right? I mean, you can just start opening this stuff up. You got the forward. Stupid is the new smart. Stupid is the new smart. I could close the freaking book right now. Stupid is a new smart. But what does it mean, right? I mean, you, you can draw your own conclusions immediately of what that means. And go, go take action on that. That's all you need. You can stop this video right here. Stupid is a new smart. In fact, we're going to. Goodbye.